everyone. I'm Sean Pitts, a member of the customer success team here at Logs.io, back again with another training. Today, we're going to be talking about open search dashboards and how we can transform that raw log data you're sending in into something beautiful that your team can use to monitor. Now, in this example, I'm going to be uh, showing a very basic uh, example of an Nginx server that's being monitored and how we can create a visual type on that that makes it a little bit easier to follow and monitor. So if we query for type nginx access, which is the type that I'm sending these logs under, over the last 24 hours, you can see I have a bit over 2,500 logs. Now I have all of my timestamps and my messages that are coming in, but as we see it here, this is not too intuitive in terms of how we can see what's going on, a visual breakdown of maybe my status codes or request times, et cetera, right? So if we collapse this log in the left-hand corner, you can see that I have a lot of fields exposed to me. And this is because the type nginx access log is actually automatically parsed on the backend in logs.io. So that's a great news. We have a lot of out of the box parsing on the backend. So if you send in a specific log type, we will parse it for you. So now that I know that I have all these fields at my disposal, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this tab just so I can reference back and forth my search and the fields I have at my disposal to my visual type that I'm creating. So now I'm gonna click in the top left-hand corner um, under the hamburger, dashboard. And from here, what I'm gonna do is click create dashboard and I can either add an existing or create a new object. In this case, I'm just gonna create a new object and I'm gonna click vertical bar graph because I wanna create a bar graph. So under the Logs.io customer index where your logs are ingested under in Logs.io, you can see that we have um, a count of all of our logs across the account over the last 24 hours. However, I just want to query for type nginx access. Now, what do I actually want to create here? What I want to do is I want to get a max request time, which is in seconds, and I want that per my country name. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here under my Y axis and click max. I'm gonna do request time. And then what I can see here is I can choose a bucket aggregation. In my X axis, I'm gonna query for the term and then I'm gonna do GOIP dot country, uh, country code, I believe it is, or country name, sorry. And then I'm gonna expand this bucket size up to a thousand, which is the max threshold. I'm gonna update this and we can see that I get a max breakdown of all of my countries in terms of the max request time. So I can see that something like St. Martin has a lot more, uh, has a lot less of a request time than someone like India, which then I can go in my infrastructure and investigate why that might be. So now that I know this breakdown and I have this visual type, what I can do is click save and then call this something like um, max request time per country. When I click save and return, you're gonna see that it saves my dashboard or saves my visualization and then throws it into my dashboard. So if I go back into my dashboard, we can see that this visual type has been added. Now, if I want to create another visual type, I can just click add and then I can create new from here. I can create new from here or I can just save it and be done with it. So what I want to do is I want to save this dashboard. So I'm going to call this Nginx access dashboard and I can even save my time with the dashboard. So if I'm querying for the last 24 hours, that will be opened up um, in that query every time I open the dashboard. In this case, I'm just going to click save and my dashboard is complete. Now I can either send a permalink or a snapshot to someone on my team or externally to take a look at this, um, or I can just go into dashboards and have it as my reference when I query for it. Um, in the search bar, I can see Nginx access dashboard. As always, if you need help, please reach out to support and they will further assist you in dashboard creation.